Meanwhile, a repeat sex offender is now facing local and federal charges thanks to the hard work of detectives at the Tipton County Sheriff's Office. 57 year old Austin Eugene Lineback was indicted on charges stemming from an arrest made more than a year ago. And now he's in federal custody. WRG's Ashley Paul has the disturbing details. It's a 24 year career of exploiting children. So hopefully this will be the end of it. After a lengthy history here in Tipton County, 57 year old Austin Eugene Lineback is behind bars, but this time in federal custody. This uh, victim came forward uh, and it led to a lengthy investigation, but ultimately it led to a lot of charges that we're really proud of and, and hope to see prosecuted further. Lineback was charged in January of 2023 with sexual exploitation of a minor and violation of the Sex Offender Act, but they couldn't hold him. He would eventually post bond and was released. However, Tipton County detectives continued their investigation and then asked the feds for help. We're pleased that they picked this case up. Uh, like I said, we're we want the maximum amount of time to keep our community safe. For, uh, so we're, we're very happy with their cooperation and their ultimate decision to, to have him indicted federally. So. Lineback has been on the sex offender registry since 2001 when he was charged with statutory rape and especially aggravated sexual exploitation of a minor. Couple that with the pornography charges from last year and the Tipton County Sheriff's Office believes it's dealing with a predator. He's already a registered sex offender. Uh, we have state charges which in, include minors obviously and now the federal charges uh, just show what a danger he is to the public and obviously Obviously, you know, anytime children are involved, it, it's a high priority to us. Lineback was taken into federal custody on Monday and is facing federal child pornography charges, which, if convicted, should keep him off the streets for a very long time. In Tipton County, I'm Ashley Paul, WREG News Channel 3.